Right then, here we go. Um, another video of production line, about my car factory game, and I'm just going to talk about what's changed in the last week. I think I've got it on pause. Yeah, there we go. Um, so um, a bunch of new stuff has kind of gone in. We've got some variants of, um, of walls now. They used to all be blue, though now there's just there's just some like you know a little bit of a graphics bug there actually. Um, so some levels are green, some levels are red, some levels are blue, um, and we can also have different floor tiles. Although I don't have enough variety yet, so I'm just I'm just sticking with these. Um, so that went in, no big deal. Um, I fixed the sounds so that they don't all go completely crazy. So you can't hear all the work sounds you know, you go all the way in. Um, you probably rarely do, but you know. um, so they they're a little bit better balanced. Um, we've also fixed these import things. I've got a little bit of a bit of a bug there. So where there's a potential slot like that, you see this. So if I wanted to actually build one there, um, I could do that. That's a graphics bug. I'll fix that. Whereas I, I can't build them anywhere. There's only that positions, and you can hopefully see it's really obvious where they come in now. Um, and something that I've changed. I don't draw these walls, the south, west, and southeast facing walls. I only draw them if there are slots of some. Which I think works works a bit better than kind of obscuring what's there. Otherwise, it, it you know it, it, it's a, a little bit sort of a grim. So that would look like that. That it's new that the export guy now has a business dude on the phone, presumably selling cars. Like that. <laughs> um, so that's been done. Wall variants, blah blah blah. Um, some uh, I fixed loads of bugs and stuff like that. Something else that has been done is the research and development screen, which either I can click this icon up here or I can go to a research lab area here. Um, oh, what about excellent, we just completed research. So I have research body specialization, body frame specialization, to allow me to kind of break down um, the individual stages in building the car. Uh, to make it more efficient, so what I will go for is like a paint specialization. Just at the moment, the the undercoat um, is as though it's that simple, but like um, the spraying of a car with a sort of undercoat and allowing that to dry, and then the spraying of the final paint and allowing that to dry, it's all done in one station. So the idea is that you you split them out, you have to research this, so you split them out. So um, painting the car is quite quick, drying the car is quite slow. So theoretically you'd have like two places painting the car, like five places drying it and um, therefore you'd have to kind of like scale up to that level to get a maximum efficiency. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, I'm, I'm researching the ability to split out painting to a variety of different places. Um, so this is different um, to how it used to look and it's, it's still very, um, very placeholder. Um, if it's green I've researched it, if it's grey I can research it, if it's red um, it needs to be unlocked by something else. Um, if I look at the number on these things, um, 600 that's, that's the amount of points, the amount of time and effort it will take to research them and then they go up as you go further along. Um, a lot of this stuff isn't actually in the game yet, it's kind of placeholder like climate control, polymer filters and stuff like that, not actually in the game yet. Um, but some of it is, all of this stuff up here is um, is in there and working. There. So uh, one of the problems I have with this screen is, is that I have quite a big monitor and I'm only recording this at like, um, whatever it is, 1920 res. Um, but even so you end up with like two scroll bars here to see the whole thing. Which is, I'm not really sure what to do about that because I don't want to squeeze everything down so everything's really small and you can't read it. Um, I haven't decided how to fix that yet. Um, obviously we can have other methods of scrolling, you know, like a click drag or an edge scrolling or WSAD. Um, but I do, I like really big tech trees in games. I hate it when you're playing a game and you're really into it and you played it for like 20 hours or whatever um, and you've researched everything. Um, I, I like never being able to research everything and it being, there's always that you know, super duper kind of roof manufacture optimization 
level nine or something that knocks off one second of like making a, a car move. You know, I would love that. Um, I don't know if that's just me, and um, I don't know. I'd like to know what people think. Do you like really big tech trees in games like this? I really do. But um, you know, your mileage may vary. Let me know. Um, so that's the research stuff that's changed. Uh, oh, and actual costs are in there now. So they all used to be 400, but now they go up and up because presumably, as you play the game for longer. Um, You'll have more money and you'll build more research offices. So you, you can have as many things as you like, obviously they, they cost money. Um, I need to check that these employees are actually costing wages. There's something else that said wages are actually um, correctly proportioned now. Oh, that was great. Um, hmm. The paint variations don't do anything yet. Do, do chassis. I've built too many research things, that's basically what I've done. Um, okay, so what I could do now, I've got major bottlenecks here on painting, look. Look at all these cars. All the cars waiting for painting. So, um, what, I, I'll show you what's involved. So now I can do this, I can paint undercoat, I can dry undercoat. This isn't what you do, like I say, you, 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 you'd split it out. So what I could do now... I could. I have to lose that car to do that, which is a bit expensive, isn't it? This is what um, things are going to end up looking like because you have all these grand plans, and then um, it becomes a, a spider as well. Um, something else that I've changed is that because I, I got extra graphics for a little kind of thing here at the end, at the, at the end of a conveyor belt. Um, they now have to, uh, you, you actually have to build that last bit. I'm pointing, you can't speak for it. Really? Um, so you actually have to build that bit that, that, that drops resources off exactly where they should be. So, hopefully this should, I mean that's still going to be a major bottleneck, isn't it? But at least this, these cars here are now going to go through this route. And the idea is, is that this, splitting it out, is, is actually more efficient because these are like single purpose things, these fans um, will be more efficient if they're always in position and, and not like here where you've got the paint mixer and you've got the fan all in one. God, I need to make research run slower. <laughs> yeah, roof manufacturing, cool. Okay, so, um, so that's an, a new thing now. If I get a fit body, fit roof, Oh right, I'm researching it, I'm researching it. So soon I'll be able to put down main roof. Um, oh, something else that I did that I forgot put in my list. If I just put something down, the smoke effect is no longer shit. It's that. I'm just wasting money showing you. But rather than a few little white circles that were just awful. And if I do, um, if I do a long like conveyor thing, they do it as well. They never used to. Bug. Um, and that's a bug when it's just no roof to stop pile, it's a wrong error message because they do have a roof. It's just that we're waiting too long. Okay, so we've got cars coming out now. So the other big thing that's been done, the other sort of main um, thing that's been done is um, a bit of the actual business sim stuff. If I look here, we were going to look here earlier, weren't we, and forgot. If I go to expenses, um, look, wages is actually showing up. It was always going out, but it wasn't actually being shown. Um, something else that I've changed here and I just haven't changed the text is I'm now calling these hours. So I'll change it to 1 hour 24 hours and lifetime I think for this. Um, the reason I changed it to hours instead of days is it was a bit ridiculous because you're only building like one car a day <laughs> um, or every other day which was crazy and it also meant that in order to give the workers a reasonable salary it was just all salary. Um, so now actually wages are uh, pretty low. Rent is high. Um, this is all, you know, placeholder values. But rent should be high because look, the factory is huge and we're not using the most of it. Um, okay, but the main thing that we've got now is that when you go down here and a car gets sold um, at export, um, 
insufficient resources. Oh, here they come. Yeah. Um, it's not actually sold. What happens now is it goes into a kind of um, a, a kind of stockpile of, of stock of your cars. And there's a new icon here. If I can click on that showroom, I'm calling it at the moment. So um, I've only got one car design at the moment, the basic Model P for Positec. Um, now the value of that car is thirteen thousand. Or rather, the price that I'm trying to sell that car for is thirteen thousand four hundred and eight dollars, and and the game computes a sort of fair value of what the car should be, and I've increased that by one thousand and nine dollars. So I'm selling at a premium. So sales aren't going to be really high, but actually my production look is so bottlenecked and so bad that there's hardly any of these cars. Out. It's really bad, isn't it? They're getting any better. I actually think that I need to um, force those to go down there, um, at the very least. And now, soon now we have a new bottleneck, fit engine. We should be researching fit engine, actually. Um, oh, good timing, good timing. Um, so engine specialisation will, will allow me to do that. So I can now build roofs. Look, that's now um, available. Um, where does that go? Fit body. So fit body is here. Roof is here. <laughs> there. Um, so rather than buying in these roof sections, I'll actually make them here from raw steel, and that'll be cheaper. Um, anyway, side fact. Um, so yeah, uh, I've set this to be a premium, meaning that I've got. Um, a, I've kind of capped the amount that I can sell because not many people are going to be gullible enough to pay over the odds for a car like that, only really enthusiasts. So at the moment I'm not selling many cars because I'm not making many cars. But I can get away with this premium. As I shift more and more of these, actually this should change and, uh, unless, um, unless I have a bug. This will be exciting. Um, but this should then change to one, I think. So I'll have one in stock when that one yeah there we go so there it's in stock now and it's sold it's sold straight away um, so actually I could push my um, I could push the price up I could charge more for that and then I could build up a kind of stockpile of things um, so the idea is that this dialogue would be a lot bigger because you'd have loads of cars you'd have loads of car designs and um, you would keep an eye on this and you kind of want on unsold stock to be you know one or two or three or whatever Otherwise, you're selling at less than you could. Um, so you're going to have to keep an eye on that compared to like the competition um, and also your brand and stuff like that. I really need to slow this down, don't I? Crazy. Um, anyway, who cares? I'll just pick any old thing because this is the yeah. So uh, that's what's new so far. Th this is the big thing like gameplay-wise um, that, that's new. I, c I could actually sell at like half what the car should cost or double what it should cost. I think variations beyond that are kind of um, unrealistic. So um, this is a new thing that's gone in because it's. I'm trying to concentrate on making it more of a game and a sort of like a tech demo So because I want people to be able to play it really soon. Um, so hopefully this is the first step towards it being it kind of like um, being a complete life cycle of uh, spending money and laying out the factory and making stuff and then selling it and setting prices um, and earning money so that actually um, we will have a sort of working business sim. All the numbers are wrong at the moment so uh, I'm actually losing money all the time. Anyway, uh, this is production line, that's what went in in the last week. I hope you like the look of it. Please let me know what you think, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh my god, this is so inefficient. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we're also uh, we have a Facebook page as well which we occasionally post screenshots of new stuff that's going in uh, we're also on Twitter as well at, at Clipsky uh, thank you for watching